Well, the story for the day, in fact, for the next week is going to be rain. So let's take first a look at our current satellite and radar. You'll see this very messy system that came out of Kansas, pushed through the area and basically fizzled out by the time it got here. So we're not seeing very much rain on the radar right now, but it has left us with quite a bit of cloud cover and a few there, sprinkles so are lingering around the, the area. We're getting some sunny skies out there and thankfully we're not it's having to deal with the story we've right been now. dealing with throughout the summer is those scattered showers every day, which is what we're going to be continuing seeing today oh, and for the next and even couple Branson of days. only got up to 79 today. That's about 10 degrees below average for the high, so it's pretty unusual well, it's for this time of year. Right now, with those mostly sunny skies, perfect night to have a cookout. But are these conditions going to continue throughout your Memorial Day weekend? I'll have your full forecast coming out, out there. A bit later. Some nice puffy cumulus clouds, but thankfully nothing producing but any just rain be right, right now. You could see that scattered shower tonight. Keep that umbrella and rain jacket handy as you're Ours. outdoors our next this system evening. Is going to be coming in from the north. We'll have another low pressure system and a cold front associated with that that's going to drop through, giving us a chance of we rain Monday in into the 90s, Tuesday, reaching around 100 degrees. So we're definitely thankful. The cooler temperatures and the fact that the sun has actually come out. We've been dealing with rainy days for the past week, so we actually get a break from the rain. So the ground is so saturated. It's basically, any rain you can get in any area could deal with some flooding. So five keep an eye out for what it's predicting for Rogers, Arkansas. So definitely could be another dangerous situation. We're keeping a very close watch on this because of all the flooding issues we've been dealing with Well, your story with for the day is definitely all the rain that's been out there. We've been keeping an eye on this. So let's take a current look here at our satellite and radar. There's this very messy system up there in Kansas that has pushed through the area, giving a lot of rain over the Kansas City. But check it out. It sort of must died out by the time it's gotten here to Springfield. So most of that has cleared out of the area. However, there are a few showers lingering around and it has definitely left us with these very mostly cloudy conditions out there. So if we take a closer look then here in the Ozarks. Basically, you can see there's probably a few small showers hanging around a little north of Springfield. Definitely a lot more up to our northwest around the Rolla area and there is some storms down there around the Tulsa area, but none of that really crossing the borders into Missouri. So we're keeping a close watch on this as you could have a sprinkle out there while you're headed out to lunch, but for the most part, we will stay dry throughout the day, but then our chances are going to increase again this afternoon. So that's why we are under a flash flood watch. Basically all of the counties in Missouri, we will continue this flood watch all the way through Monday. So be careful out there as we could have some very heavy rainfall throughout the afternoon and overnight hours tonight, which could give us those flooding conditions. So right now here in Springfield, we are dry, but it is very cloudy out there. So for the most part, it is very nice. However, we are at about 74 degrees. Does feel pretty good out there, except for this dew point. We're at about 65 degree dew point, so it's going to be a little muggy out there, making it kind of unfortunate, but shouldn't be too bad. But except we do have those winds out of the south southeast at about 14 miles per hour, so those are a little bit breezy as well. The temperatures throughout the area is still very nice, but the low to mid 70s throughout the area. You'll see the cooler temperatures up here in Lake of the Ozarks and in Humansville at about 70 as we did see earlier on the radar that there were some showers still lingering around those areas as well. But then that dew point is what's making it very sticky and not comfortable out there. Basically the upper 60s to low 70s for the dew point throughout the area and this is going to continue throughout the day because all the moisture that we got in from that system. So unfortunately probably a bad hair day for a lot of people because of that. So this weekend for Friday we're going to top off around 90 today. We're going to have those showers continuing throughout the afternoon overnight hours and then on Saturday those chances do continue continue the decrease just a bit, but we are going to warm up even more at about 92 degrees. And then on Sunday, we actually will have a cold front coming through, which is where we're going to see another chance for those showers returning and we will cool off then a bit at just about 85 degrees for the high then. So your rain chances in for the weekend. Here's what we're looking at. Basically Friday for today into the afternoon hours is what we're looking at as the greatest chances for rain. We'll take about a 70% chance of rain for today. And then for Saturday, they're going to taper off just a bit, just about 40% chance for your rain then. And then on Sunday, as that cold front starts to come through, our rain chances will then pick up again, getting us about 50% chance of that rain then continuing on in Sunday. So your almanac then for this year, check it out. We've gotten a little over 32 inches of rain, which is quite a bit above normal. We usually would see about a little over 26 inches of rain. So we're about uh, about five inches of rain over what we would average see for this time of year. So it's definitely appreciating this as obviously it is quite a bit different from the drought conditions we were experiencing this time last year. So for today, we'll top it off around 90 degrees here in Missouri, 92 down there in Harrison, Arkansas. Those rain changes to say north of Arkansas in here in Missouri, and then mostly have those mostly cloudy skies. And unfortunately, that wind is a little breezy there out of the south at about 14 to 20 miles per hour. Then for tonight, mostly cloudy conditions continue. Lows in the low to mid 70s, and then take a look at your seven day forecast. A very wet one out there, but just about every day we're going to have a chance of rain, and then you're going to see those 90s returning again through the middle of next well, week. It's a very happy 
Independence Day out there. Your weather headlines for today into this weekend. We're actually going to be sparking some scattered storms this afternoon and evening, and then we should be cracking open a clear night tonight, but then we will be blasting back into the 90s this weekend. So it should be a very nice 4th of July, but just kind of watch out for some scattered storms out there. But right now it is beautiful out there. Take a look here on Moonshine Beach here at Table Rock Lake. It is very nice out there. A lot of people out enjoying the day out on their boats, and it is sitting at about 74 degrees right now. Beautiful sunny day. We do have a dew point of about 60 degrees, so just a little humid out there, but not too much you have to worry about. Even those winds are very nice, just very calm out of the south at about 7 miles per hour. So if you're vacationing here this weekend, here's what can you, you can expect for the next three days. Today we will have a high of about 84 degrees. Watch out for those scattered showers afternoon into the evening, but should clear out overnight. And on Friday, we'll get up to about 85 again. Another nice sunny Pretty cool day compared to what we normally experience, but then on Saturday we're going to get up there close to that 90 degree mark once again, so it will be getting into those more seasonal temperatures.